Now the last, the last prophet on my series, my fourth part series, my friend, is the prophet of light. And the prophet of light is the devil. The Bible says the devil transformed himself in the angel of light. Why light, preacher? Because light is lumina, illuminated. Hallelujah. It comes from the word illuminati. Illuminati. Hey, glory to God. And a lot of times people follow him pastors or prophets because they say they got light. But what is a light? Jesus Christ said, we are the light of the world. The Bible says men love darkness rather than the light. Now, they're prophet of light, but he's not a prophet of light. He's a prophet of darkness, but present himself as a prophet of light, which means Illuminati. Illuminati, my friend. Yeah, there are pastors and prophets that are Illuminati's. And the reason why they're Illuminati is because they, they make agreement and they sell their soul to the devil just for money. Like my pastor just sing the song. I said it, hey, go to God. Send me your money. Give me your money. Why? Because they love money. The Bible says love of money, root of all evil. So the, the last one, the prophet of light, he present the light but not the light to save our soul. The Bible says Satan transformed himself in an angel of light. Illuminati, illuminate. They go to God. Hallelujah. Amen. And a lot of people, they fall in the wrong light. They fall in Satan. Because Satan transformed himself in an angel of light. The devil quotes scriptures. The devil know the word. The devil is an anti, anti trinity. Hey, glory to God. What do you mean, preacher? He's, he's the devil, the beast, and the son of perdition, the antichrist. Satan, my friend, is a worn line, and Jesus Christ is a tribe of Judah. Ha, ah, glory to God. Satan, glory to God, he's become a serpent. And look in, in numbers, my friend, the Bible say how, how Moses put a serpent, hallelujah, on the pole. And when the people looked, they lived. And Jesus Christ said, For much as Moses lived a serpent in the wilderness, even so shall the Son of Man believe them. Whosoever believe on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So Satan is a copycat. He followed, he copied the big cat, but he's a tribe of Judah. If you look in Revelation 5th chapter, read Revelation 5th chapter, and he, he from the tribe of Judah, could no man open a book but Jesus. Hallelujah. So I'm saying to you, just watch my video, my friend. Satan copied everything that God does. Satan know the word? Yes, he does. Prove it, preacher. The Bible say, hey, go to, in Matthew, the 4th chapter, when, when he told Jesus Christ to commit suicide, commit spiritual suicide, your angel will have charge over you concerning thee. He went to, glory to God, he went to uh, Psalms 91. Hallelujah, glory to God. He went to Psalm 91, verse 11, 10, 11. But Jesus Christ said, thus attempt the Lord thy God. So I'm saying to you, my friend, as Satan is a copycat, the Bible says, try the spirit, by the spirit, to see whether it be of God, because it many false prophet. A lot of y'all don't try. Y'all don't try people. You try people by the word of God. Don't believe what everything somebody say to you. Some people twist the scripture for their advantage, take advantage of you. And if you don't know the word of God, you become deceived. Ha, ha, glory to God. Hallelujah. What? You become deceived. Deception comes from charm. Paul Paul told the Galatian church, who, are the, who have charmed you, who have deceived you, that you should not obey the truth. So Satan is a deceiver. Satan is a scripture twister. Satan tricks people. There are more witches in the church than Christians. There are more, more witch pastors than a real pastor behind the pulpit.
And the reason why, because they love, they love luxuries. They love lust. And they love to tell lies. And if you are not into the word of God, you're going to fall into deception. Because Satan transformed himself in an angel of light. Lumina. Illuminati. Illuminate. And go to God. Amen. Even, Brother, even his minister. Satan have ministers. Yes, he does. If you don't believe what I'm saying, my friend, read the Bible. The Bible says, we're not ignorant of the devil devices. Hallelujah. The Bible says, the godless world have blinded their mind that may believe the glorious gospel to save them. Why do you think people don't read the Bible? Because the devil don't want them to read the Bible. People, I'm a, let me say this. People, as soon as church over, they put the Bible on the table and then pick up until the next Sunday. You don't go through the week reading the Bible, but through the week you become W-E-A-K. Why? Because the, the word of God is our strength. I did a, I did a, a message, my friend, that they are, they are joy snatchers. Your, your joy come from, your strength come from the Bible. The word of God is your strength. I know praying is good. Praying the script, scripture, praying the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. Pray, that's why, that's why you have the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Spirit. We all, not, we all know what to pray for, but the Spirit help our infirmity. My friend, we got, a, we, got a, we got a weapon. We got power over the devil. The devil might be a transform himself in the angel of light, but we are the real light. We are the light that shine in dark places. The devil is dark. And the reason why I make this last one, because this last one is where people need to know the devil, hey man, he knows God, but he twists the word of God for his advantage. He go after those people that, that, that don't study the word of God. He go after the people that are freaks in the church. Hey man, come on now. You've been in church for 20 years and you're still fornicating? You still, you, you've been in church for 30 years and you're still coming to adultery? You've been turned for so long, you still gossip? You've been turned for so long, you still lying? How, come on, amen. You know what? Because these people don't read the word of God. Why do you think people get married so many times? Because they're ignorant concerning the word of God. Ignorant means unlearn. Ignorant ain't a bad word, my friend. Ignorant means unlearn. You're not educated according to the scripture. The Bible says, line upon line, preach upon preach upon, here's a little, there's a little, studies, studies show that self approve unto God. A workman need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. The Bible says, meditate in a day and night. Meditate don't mean yoga. Meditate no, no, mm, no. Meditate means to study. Let the word of God marinate in your spirit. So when it come, you be like the, you be like Psalms 119 verse 11. The word of I hid in my heart, they don't want to sin against God. Satan, my friend, we gotta be ready for Satan. He's the angel of light. And what these prophets does, my friend, they go out. The Bible say they're making merchandise of us. Why are they making merchandise of us? Because because we don't know the word. When you don't know the word, you get you stay in the world. What did I say? When you don't know the word, you stay in the W-O-R-L-D. The Bible says, love not the world, neither thing that are in the world. What's the word? The lust of the flesh, the lust of the, of the eye, and the power of life is not the Father, but of the world. And the world pass away, and the lust thereof. Amen. It's time to know the word. Amen. The Bible says, men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. Labor not for the meat that perish. Hallelujah. But labor for the meat that endure to everlasting life with a son of man going to give. When Jesus Christ in St. John the 6th chapter, he said that I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they say, how can this man, this Joseph's son, Hallelujah. And his father a carpenter. Hey, glory to God. And his mother's name is Mary. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And the Bible says, Jesus Christ, does this offend you? Why? Because they were fans and not followers. Anytime you are a fan, that means you're still dipping in the world. Anytime you're a fan, you don't want to leave the world. 
Anytime you're a fan, you dress like the world. Anytime you're a fan, hallelujah, you, you got a Jezebel spirit and think, Martha, why do you think you're going through so much? Amen. Why do you think you're going through so much? Because you are a follower of Jesus Christ. If you are a follower of Jesus Christ, you won't go through what Satan throwing your way. But guess what? He throw it, but it will not hit you. <laughs> go to God. Because the Bible says Satan is like a worn lion. Seeking whom he may devour. So in conclusion of this four-part series, but a prophet. And the last one is light. And the reason why I made the last one light, because a lot of people are 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 are, are, are twisted because of Satan light, Luminates. There's a lot of Luminates in the house of God. Hey man, the church is full of Satanists. Hey man, a person that sit beside you in church last Sunday, or Passover Sunday, they were following Satan. You don't see him once a month. Hey, go, you don't see him once in a year. Next time you won't see him, you won't see him on watch night service. Amen. You will see him at a funeral. Come on. Hallelujah. I'm trying to tell you, my friend. You will see these people once in a blue moon. Why, preacher? Because they're Satanists. They serve Satan. And they serve the Lord. They like wishy-washy. They like double-minded. Why? Because they love Satan. Amen. They love Satan. Satan is their God. Amen. Satan, my friend. And some people don't, some people call themselves Christian and don't believe that Satan exists. How can you, how can you be a Christian and you don't believe in Satan? Satan exists whether you, you, whether you believe it or not. And the reason why you are being deceived because Satan is your master. Hey, glory to God. But once you, you come to the, the knowledge of the truth, there's only two power, my friend. There's God and Satan. I was talking to this wicked, this wicked witch. He said, oh, we don't serve Satan. There's only two power in this world. God and Satan. And if you ain't serving God, you're serving Satan. If you ain't reading the Bible, you read the book of shadows. Or you read another book that's, the, that's, the, that, that's, not, a, that's not of the word of God. So I'm saying to you, my friend, the angel of light is Satan. He's a prince of power of the air. If, it, if Satan is a prince of power of the air, that means that Satan gets in the internet. You don't believe everything on the internet? You don't believe everything on YouTube? You don't believe everything on Facebook? Because these guys, they're not serving God, they're serving Satan. Look at, go, you don't believe me? Go and see the background of the guy that is the owner, the CEO of, of Facebook. Does he serve Jesus? Who does he serve? Research the guy that behind Facebook. Research the, the person behind YouTube. Hey, glory to God. Because Satan is a prince and power of the air. He's a he's the he's a god of the atmosphere. He floats looking for a body. And when he gets a body, he got that body. That's why you must be filled with the Holy Ghost. Don't be filled with Casper. Don't be filled with a shout. You, you dancing. That's all. Don't be filled with the tongues. Make sure it's of the Holy Ghost tongue. Don't go home and practice your tongue. Don't go mirror and speak because someone says speak. No, let the Holy Ghost give it to you. Accent, the 10th chapter, verse 42. The Holy Ghost was given unto them and they command them to be baptized in water. I'm talking about the word of God. The angel of light is Satan. Satan is a lumina. He's a luminates. Satan's job is to deceive you. But he ain't going to deceive you to deceive you. He's going to deceive you. Things that look, look like God, but it's not God. It's anti-God. Because Satan knows that his days is ticking. The Bible says, redeem the time because the days are evil. It's evil, my friend. Some of these gospel singers, they ain't. I mentioned before, my friend. They ain't serve, they serving God. Because gospel music don't make you rich. God make you rich. 
and he, they make they make company they make partner with Satan. Amen. They they sign their soul to Satan. Amen. Anytime they rap music comes in a church, crap in a church, unaware, my friend. Satan comes to church. Amen. This music ain't of God. This music is of Satan. Because Satan, hallelujah, the Bible says he had tampered in his heart. What do you think the Shakra Misha and Abinago? They refuse to bow at the music. They refuse to bow at the statue. Because they say that no way. We're not gonna bow to your music, we're gonna bow to your statue. They were thrown in lines dead. They were thrown in fire furnace. Why? Because of refusal to worship the songs. Refuse to worship the statue that was erupted. And they say we we not gonna bow. And God will deliver out of your hand and God will deliver for a fire furnace. And go to God. In conclusion, I hope you take heed to my first, my four part message about the prophets and your pastor. I hope that God give you the understanding to open your eyes to the truth. Because God said the truth shall make you free. The truth will give you liberation. The truth will make you hallelujah. Be jubilant. Stand fast in liberty where Christ has made you free and be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. God bless you and I love you all. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. In closing off this four part series on the prophet of Els, oh God, give someone the knowledge to understand that they get out and find a church that is a blessing to them rather than a church that's cursing to them. Oh God, let them know that. Don't be a follower of the blind because at the end, the blind lead the blind and both fall into the ditch. Oh God, the ditch is hell. Oh God, open their eyes right now to truth. Don't give them a third eye, but give them an eye of the Holy Spirit. That's right now, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I love you all. Don't forget to subscribe to my video. Thank you. May God bless you. Richly is my prayer. Amen.